for you. Okay, we're unmuted. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Sakura's Gaming Station. It is Monday, July 17th. Starting a little later today, as uh, I was working out with the kiddo this morning, and that took a little longer than usual. Uh, we actually had to run an errand afterwards, so I got home at like 12.15. By the time I had my protein shake, it was about 12.20, had to shower, all that crap. So anyway, um, we're going hard into retro. Um, Long story short, it's been a little bit of a rough stretch here in the channel, so. Retro gaming is essentially my Kung Fu. I could use it right now. I, I need to uh, binge out on some Kung Fu. So, we did Super Mario World last week. Uh, and we're going with Donkey Kong Country today. Actually, hold on, correction. We did two days of Super Mario World, which was fan-fucking-tastic, by the way. And then we did Killer Instinct, but we compared the arcade version to the SNES version. And it was really unfair, I mean, for anybody curious as to what I'm talking about. You see my YouTube. You know how to go through VODs here on the channel. Check them out. Uh, the SNES by itself is a fantastic piece of hardware. It's another reason why I wanted to stream Donkey Kong Country here. It's a fantastic piece of hardware. And it has some excellent games. However, there are, I would say, like a literal handful. Like, I would say about six games for the SNES that I know, like, pretty well that they were overly ambitious, but it just didn't translate well. Because the more hyper-real you try to be, uh, doesn't really end up turning out that well. So, I think, actually, I know without a doubt, Donkey Kong Country here is by far one of the absolute best tech showcases on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And there is some hotly contested opinions about if this game is overrated or not. From my experience with it, it absolutely is not. It has the speedrunner sensibility to it. It has excellent graphics. It has really good gameplay. And overall, like reviews for this game were solid. Uh, I actually still have Next Generation issue number one from 1994, and one of their very first reviews was not only Mortal Kombat 2 for the SNES, got stellar stellar scores across the board, but Donkey Kong Country here. So every time I stream Donkey Kong Country, I always start reminiscing about when I first started playing it, but more importantly, it goes to show you that in the right hands, the SNES hardware is incredible. And that is... Evidenced mostly by its audio and then its graphics. So let's just let this play out. This is this is gonna give me some crazy ass goosebumps. It has just such depth, man. This is fucking art. This is seriously art. This this is legit, man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, this is so good. 1994, everybody. I love the little jingle right here. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, man, this is what I love about it is that it's it's a hybrid. It's sprite based, but it's rendered. It's this really cool hybrid, and it's a oh, what? It's this excellent hybrid that takes advantage of the SNES's uh, 
massive color palette. Whoops, that's right. Ah! Wow, okay, we need uh, we need Donkey Kong for the big guys. Jesus, I already died, what the fuck? So now I will say there's just a little bit of dithering. If you look at, uh, he's actually going to be behind me. Hold on. Yeah, if you pay close attention to Diddy Kong's sprites, there is a little too much dithering going on. So there's a few gray pixels on his hat. But dude, the animation in this is still so very good. This is still very impressive. And it plays so well, too, man. Like, this is, uh... Oh. This is still impossibly good. Uh, Rambo, yep. That's his name, because he rams. Rambo. Yeah, this music is, like, forever burned into my, like, persona. And I love how it transitions to nighttime here. This is so cool, man. Ropey Rampage! Dun, dun, dun. Oh, the rain effect, dude. Jeez. That is so cool. And I like how each stage kind of, like, embeds in your mind what is to follow in later stages. So, like, you have a swinging rope here, which is now a rhythmic thing. You have enemies that try to blindside you. And you can see the bananas are, like, bringing the point home of what direction you go in as you're going to leave the rope. So here you can see, okay, before I swung sideways, horizontally, and I jumped off in this curve. So now we're like, oh, there's two ropes. Oh, okay. It's really clever game design. And it's a lot of, it's something that not a lot of people realize because it's intrinsic. So here, it's like, oh, cool, I can keep my, momen my momentum going if I jump off of that enemy's head, and now there's a bee I have to jump over, so I have to time all of this. Very jazzy. I like this. And now it clears up. A little bit of slow down there. I guess that's the ceiling. But the scaling, or the, uh, the background sprites are awesome. I like the butterfly, just chilling there. That's so cool. Isn't that? Oh, this is, uh... Cranky's Cabin? Forgot about this. Ah, I left somebody to check with. Put guy's hose in the ground. Oh, this gameplay is too much. Okay, he, that's just like, that's kind of dumb. Reptile rumble. Oh, this is the cave stuff. Oh, the snakes. I love the sound effects they give off. This is so cool. The fact that this is SNES is just crazy, man. This does not look like an SNES game. The actual review headliner for uh, Next Generation, back before they were Next Gen, they're like aping Mario. Like, the, everybody gave this game solid scores across the board, and it deserves every ounce of it. They don't make games like this anymore. I mean, you can even prove that by, you know, when, when, when Nintendo released another iteration of this, or just a remake, it was Tropical Freeze or some stupid shit like that. And I'm sure it's fine, but it, it's the same shit. It's just repackaged 
and updated. And this game's identity lays deeply within the fact that it's pre-rendered. Like you trying to go, whoops, trying to go against that, it's just, I think it's blasphemy. Coral Capers! I like how everything, like... Oh my god, this is... This is, uh, dude, this is... Fuck. Just the... Just... I gotta, I gotta do this for a second. Just the fact that we have this kind of quality on the SNES. That's insane. It's the depth that this audio has, man. Every time I play this, it's just... It's such a delight. Seriously. Okay. And they tried to do this on the, the Game Boy Advance, and it's just... No, man. It just couldn't measure up. It's just... This is the master class and pushing the limits of hardware and getting something super special out of it. Oh, wait a minute. We get, uh, the swordfish here? I can't remember his name. I could listen to this all fucking day, man. There's just something just so soothing and just relax it. This is like, uh... Either the perfect waiting room or elevator theme to play. Like, imagine going up, like, 60 uh, floors in, like, a, a modestly paced elevator, and you hear this. Or you're in a doctor's office waiting for your appointment, and you're just reading a magazine, and you hear this. In the speakers, especially right here. Not cool, bro. Not cool. We could actually ram him. There we go. <laughs> we already have. That's right, there's little <laughs> Stupid shark, get out of here. Yeah, what's so awesome about this is it's still stylized in a way to where it doesn't intrude on looking too real. And again, when things try to look too real on lesser hardware, that's when you run into graphical inconsistencies and things don't age as well. Like this, I feel this is still the best of the trilogy. Like a lot of people will argue that two is better, three is better. I honestly couldn't stand two. Uh, Dixie's Double Trouble, I believe. It felt too gimmicky. Like you had to collect this and collect that and get a hundred of this and a hundred of that. Like This here still follows your conventions like uh, the Kong letters, right? K-O-N-G. Those are essentially the Yoshi coins from Super Mario World and you still have your bananas, which act as coins. So every 100 bananas. As with every 100 coins, you get, a, you get an extra life. So, when Next Generation said aping Mario, they weren't kidding. So, you know what? Hold on. This fucking water bottle is heavy. It just topples over. This thing just wants fucking attention. Christ. Yes, it's mad at me. Excuse my fucking French. Okay, so... This is probably one of the oldest things I got in my entire collection. So for those wondering, this is legit issue number one of Next Generation Magazine. 
Ah, the first page I opened to. Page 102. Oh, look at that. Aping Mario. Donkey Kong Country. Publisher Nintendo, developer Rare, sides 32 megabit cartridge, available now. By all means, it's available now. Rare Limited, the company behind Nintendo's first Ultra 64 titles, offers the first ever completely rendered 16-bit game, Donkey Kong Country. First, the obvious. Rendered characters and the superior color palette of the SNES give Donkey Kong Country the best graphics ever seen on a console. I agree with that. Surprisingly, Nintendo still could have done more. In many cases, the game skips a few shades and actually uses a little dithering to save memory space. And that's where we have the gray pixels on Diddy Kong, on his cap. The game is an excellent example of what the SNES can really do, but unfortunately sets a benchmark that no one else is likely to meet. Who bet Nintendo can afford an expensive 32 megabit cart? Question mark. Even so, one can expect Nintendo to continue its big cart trend to periodically spark 16-bit sales after... Well, long after the next generation of consoles hit later next year. After all the hype, DKC really is an amazing cart. However, the gameplay falls a hair short of typical Nintendo blockbuster. I disagree with that. I would say that the gameplay is more technically impressive, but it lacks the variety of, say, Super Mario World's Cape or Fire Flower, stuff like that. It does its own thing, but it's a little more bare bones, I would say. But considering this is more of a tech demo, what they accomplished with it, Fan fucking tell. Although it's no Mario or Zelda, the game plays well with plenty of hidden items and secret rooms to keep the most dedicated player busy for some time to come. Barrels, if for no other reason than tradition, play a central role in proceedings, be they Throne or Rhoda. I really miss print media. Holy, wait a minute! Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. What's funny is I just streamed this. I didn't mean to pick this up or, or get any order from this magazine. But look at what we have reviewed on the next page. Killer Instinct. The arcade version. Commercial. Killer Instinct. Publisher Midway. Developer Rare. Format, two-player stand-up, and available now. I need to get to the arcades, guys. We gotta, we gotta figure out a way to bring the stream to the arcade. Here we see Williams Nintendo attempting to place just one more jack of spades on the top of an arcade fighting game, House of Cards, that's in danger of imminent collapse. That's actually an interesting commentary. Soon gamers will demand something truly new. But for the moment, it would seem that Killer Instinct will get us excited by a fighting game just one more time. Developed by Rare, the latest designers to sit at the right hand of Nintendo, Killer Instinct has all the technological muscle needed to excite, namely, better, and blow your vision. Taking controls from Street Fighter II, finishing moves from Mortal Kombat and the like, and even a few backgrounds from Virtual Fighter, Killer Instinct seeks to embody all the best elements of what's gone before. In places it builds, check out the cinematics. In places it even cheats. Spinal's 23 hit super combo is in truth the only one special move. <laughs> but add to the illusion some of the most impressive renders ever to hit the video screen and an arcade shaking DCS sound system. And there is no doubt that Killer Instinct is at the top of the heap. I could not agree with that. So while it's not the breakthrough we're all waiting for, and sooner the genre has to explode. But for the moment, at least, Nintendo's plans for Ultra 64 seem to be progressing. Yeah. Dude, Ridge Racer 2, Primal Rage, Arcade, 3 stars out of 5. Virtual Cop, 3 stars out of 5. Ridge Racer 2, 4 stars out of 5. All right, one more review. This is, again, this is bringing me back, man. And it, it's really... This is probably my most cherished retro possession. The very first issue of Next Generation. This is in really good condition, and it has like a really high quality print, and it has that really cool Premiere issue sticker on it. I almost tried to peel it off. Actually, no, I don't think I did. But I remember I was spending a weekend over at my cousin's house, and he's like, dude, you get a free magazine. Like, the first three issues are free. I'm like, well, cool. And I signed my name up, and I sent out the card, and uh, I got this. I have issue one and three. I didn't save issue two. I can't remember. So what did I have to say about the MK2 conversion on the SNES? Publisher Acclaim, Developer, Sculpture Software. Forget about it. it wasn't uh, Sony or Trade West, which was the 
PlayStation version. This was Sculptured Software. They did an excellent job with Part 3 as well. The MK3 conversion for the SNES was really good, but then the PlayStation version came out, and that was good. Once a child saved, Nintendo actually called up a claim, a claim to ensure that an equally bloody version of MK2. As a result, this is the first Nintendo game to ever carry a content rating on its box. The SNES version is unquestionably better than the Genesis part in every way. Dude, that's an understatement. The graphics are richer, the sound is deeper, and the controls are smoother. Almost every secret trick has been ported over as well, with at least 10 more codes added just for this version. I forgot about that. There was the uh, the hidden opening with Shao Kahn and Mataro destroying and taunting the Acclaim logo, which was really cool. With full creative license, Acclaim has probably produced... Oh, Acclaim has produced possibly the best arcade conversion. Yeah, it is... It's incredible to... Look back at '94, and like, there, there's a saying that you know, if you want a good read into what a certain time frame was like, like say you want to really know what the 1940s or like say 1935 was like, read the personal ads and the advice columns in a newspaper. So with gaming, we look at actual reviews of this time frame. And I forgot that they reviewed Sonic and Sonic and Knuckles Evolutionary. Four stars. NHL 95. So this is legit 94 because sports games are always a year ahead of what they I mean, there's even an advert here for... Uh, whoops. Stop. For Eternal Champions on the Sega CD. Which was a really good game, by the way. Eternal Champions is highly underrated. Fucking difficult to call hell, too, man. Oh, wow. Sega Genesis, Earthworm Jim, Contra Hard Corps? Snatcher. Hmm. Relentless? I've never heard of that. Getting to Hockey 95 on PC. Burn Cycle. I remember as a kid reading this, but I was 13 and didn't. And I was like, I wish I could have it. And now I kind of do. But it's really cool to look back on all of this. This is like snapshot into what this is a snapshot into what game like like 30 years ago like this is incredible stuff i love this and this is why again games preservation is so important to me you know it's i wouldn't say it's been my mission but you know considering the way the the current gaming landscape is like it's it really sucks because everything is nickel and diming and squeezing the fuck out of you know, like, it's our money, and what we're spending this money on isn't ours to own. Like, you know, like, this, I got into, like, a kind of an argument with somebody on YouTube. Like, well, you're paying for fun. It's like, you know, he's like, yeah, you don't go to a basketball game and, like, buy the Knicks. It's like, no, no, he's like, yeah, you go, you know, you don't, you don't buy a basketball game, you buy the tickets. It's like, yeah, but that's a, that's a venue. That's a little different than, like, a video game. A video game is a short slice of entertainment that you could enjoy repeatedly. It's like a movie. Right? So can we bring that argument to movies? Well, you're not paying to own a movie. You're paying to, for the experience. I disagree. I mean, it's like your house. Like, you know, would you spend $250,000 on a house or more than that if that house wasn't yours? No. So everybody has a different outlook on stuff. But regardless of that, what it boils down to is you, what you purchase, you should be able to. And that is not the case with games. And now everything is cloud-based and everything is server-based. And it's very frightening, especially for people who vouch for game. I mean, this is SNES, okay? But this is a cherished title to many who grew up in this period. And the fact that it's very hard to come by to own, if not impossible, it is irksome. Because the only way I could enjoy this is via SNES 9X emulator. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, I once purchased this, I once owned it years ago. Now I have it at my fingertips to enjoy whenever I want to. I don't have to repurchase it. I don't have to hunt down antiquated, yet still good, antiquated and overly priced collector's hardware. I don't have to worry about hardware failing with the exception of, you know, obvious stuff specifically. 
But needless to say, I don't have to worry. And I say this every time I bring this conversation up. I do not have to log into anything. I do not have to worry about DRM. I do not have to worry about an online only and always online license based fiasco. I can just turn it on and enjoy it however I like at my leisure. Just like the way it used to be and the way it should be. There are places, there are circumstances where I'm reaching for my phone. There are circumstances where live service games can work, but live service does not have to be everything. And you look at what a lot of um, in indie studios are doing right now. They are following the old guard way of doing it. Namely, like good old games. I highly, highly vouch for good old games. Purchase something, it's yours. No DRM, no nothing. You purchase it, you download it. That's the way it should be. And people will appreciate that more so than your live service board. Look what's going on with Destiny right now, right? Perfect example. All right, enough monologue. Dong. <laughs> Dong. <laughs> I will say, this meme coming up here is incredible. Whoa, dudes, my name's Funky Kong! My bodacious jumbo barrel can launch you to any point on the island. Most unfortunately, it can only send you to a place you've already been to. Got that. Which is complete and total bummer, let me tell you. Whoa, dude! Oh, he just repeats. Uh, yeah. He just flew back to him. <laughs> How do we do that? Barrel Cannon Canyon. Ah, and this stage teaches you the fact that you have barrels to launch out. Dude, this is fucking awesome, man. The gameplay design in this is so good. And it gets pretty challenging, I will say. Oh, shit. I love how their uh, their pitch is off just in the slightest. That's so cool. Whoa! Dude, I'm too soon. Fuck. God damn it. Seriously, dude? Donkey Kong over Diddy Kong. Just a preference. 
because I just said I prefer Donkey Kong. No, don't mind me. Damn, dude. Yeah, these stages can get pretty tricky. To rock around, it's tricky. No, not that tricky. Whoa! Stupid bee! It's a rhythm, man. It's so cool. That life. I forget what she is. Candy save points. Hi, I'm Candy Kong, and this is my save point. If you want to save your current game, jump into my spinning save barrel. Kong, jump into my bed. That's a sexual euphemism. <laughs> oh, shit. So this, this means that... Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on, I want to beat it with Donkey Kong so we have Donkey Kong's face everywhere. I can't deal with that. Sorry. I hope this save didn't pull through. Fuck! Da da da. Da da da. Alright, sweet. <laughs> and of course, the banana has a Nintendo sticker on it. That's not product placement at all! No! No, it's not Nintendo. What the fuck are you talking about? Monkey Mind. So just like uh, Super Mario World, a stage we've already beaten, we just pause it and hit the select button to exit. I can listen to this all fucking day. hi -ya! Dude, this is truly incredible, man. This game is awesome. Winky's walkway. That sounds dirty. Let's see. Dude, just the everything in this is just so impossibly good. Like the animations. The lighting even, like, it's it's really weird to say, hey, hey, dude, the lighting in Donkey Kong Country is incredible. Like, oh my god, this is so cool. And you can, as I said when we were streaming Killer Instincts, um, when we were streaming Killer Instinct the other day, it's like, it just goes to show you the difference between genres, because this is really the same ideology for game design. It's like, hey, we're going to take pre-rendered sprites and apply them. We're going to take pre-rendered splites, splites, sprites and apply them to a video game and make them look really good. It's like, well, it's easier to do that for a 2D side-scroller than it is for a 2D fighting game, because it's just a completely different system. 
but you could clearly see the difference in quality between Donkey Kong Country and Killer Instinct. It's crazy. He's walkway! Hold on a sec here. I'm never doing that again, sorry. Ah! Ooh, I remember this. And these get, like, progressively harder, which is kind of cool. Like, your timing has to be fucking, like, legit. So we'll do uh, a stage-by-stage -stage basis. We won't uh, save spam. We'll just go ahead and, if we should die, I'll go ahead and load. Because we got to beat every stage of Donkey Kong. Not Diddy, but Donkey Kong. Not Mario, but it's Mario. Remember that, kiddies. It's fucking Mario. Not Mario. Yo, who the fuck do you think you are saying fucking Mario? It's Mario. Get your shit right. All right, Joe Petschy, sorry. There we go. We cut the tape. Oh. Dude, the timing, like, my hands are getting lightly sweaty. Shit. Not easy. Excuse me. Pong. There's they spelled Pong wrong. Nineteen ninety four. What a great year for uh, SNES gaming, man. Fucking like damn. Okay, so we cut the tape. Uh. And I love the, uh, I love falling to my death. I love the, uh, the spark effect coming from the rear tire. There's some very off timing here, as you can clearly see. Wait. It's like, there's like a split second of delay when you jump in a cart. Maybe it's all in my mind. Ah, we actually have to see him coming. That's the trick. Ah! That's a rough one, man. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Gotcha! That's how this should read out. Seriously? Dude, this is, uh, this is only the second area! Ah! Tick, oh, it's close! 
I'm not gonna save scum. I'm not gonna save scum. I'm not gonna save scum. Hi. Sorry. I have rules, people. Too bad we can't use a D-pad to, like, lean forward or back. That'd be a nice little flourish to have. Dude, this is, uh, this is giving me, like, mental gymnastics here. second area and it's been a while for me fucking goddamn lizards there we go uh you know what i'm safe scumming i don't care we've gotten to a point now where it's like i just want what we just got we gotta move on we gotta move on way too ahead of myself here. This is what's interesting about this game, is you can anticipate, but really, it's all about just managing your timing down to the pixel. Like, Super Mario World is a little more kid-friendly. This is more challenging on, like, an adult, like, speedrunning level. See? I was anticipating, right? Hog. Donkey Cock. It's donkey cock. It's no, 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 no. You're not getting it right. We're not trying to say cock like, you know, fuck on it, but it's like donkey cock. You know what I mean? I can't fucking say cock. I can't say the Kong. I'd say the cock. Donkey cock. <laughs> this is brutal, but I love it. is a fucking understatement. Bouncy bonanza. That's, uh, I don't know. That's questionable collision. Those bees are just so cool. I love those bees. Can't jump on them. You can only hit them with something or avoid them. And that makes for some really interesting gameplay concepts. Oh, oh, I see. Ah, how about that? I like how the tire actually has physics on it. This is so fucking cool. Oh, hey, whoa. 
<laughs> Another attack. On. On. Kind of scared. I think that's Winky. Winky, Blinky, and... I don't fucking know. So now we can jump on... Well, we jump higher, but we could also jump on bees. Whoa, this is... What? Yeah, wow. There we go. Uh, what? Time is off, sorry. I have to get used to that second and delay time with his jump. Because it's really easy, as you just saw before. How I fucked it up right here, actually. Whee! I'm seriously questioning that. What the hell, dude? There we go. Dude, this is... I have to actively press the jump button. I have to actively press the jump button every time. So why we can't keep the frog? Frog? Oh, stop and go station. I remember this. Actually, let's do a... Uh... Oh, clap traps! I love these things! That... Up. Timing gets tighter. Stop. We could, we could walk by them as they are stopped. Yes. If once it's red, collision is free. Once it's green, collision is active. And it's timer based. So the idea is to be as quick as possible. And I, that's the thing that you really learn through constant playthroughs of Donkey Kong Country here is that it's all about timing and rhythm. And as good as as incredible as Super Mario World is. It doesn't have that nuance to it. And that's where Donkey Kong Country shines, is the nuance. So we jump. Oof. Whoa, 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 buddy. Hey, now. God damn it. Hey. Shit! 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 Gotta get the stage of Donkey Kong, goddammit! Candy save boy! Hey, I'm Candy! Jump in my barrel! I'm sure Donkey Kong really, he, he would love to jump into your barrel here. Thank you for stopping by my barrel shop. I'll see you next week. Oh, I remember this stage. This stage is fucking awesome. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
That's right, the little fucking squirrely dudes. <laughs> like I had some. Um. Um. It's so cool how Donkey Kong's the only one who can actively take those guys out. Diddy Kong, since he's smaller in stature, he uh, just bounces off of them, but he's faster. I prefer Donkey Kong. Diddy Kong's awesome, but I prefer Donkey Kong. Okay. The sound effect worked in this shit in this game is incredible like seriously man Woo! damn no pressure no pressure whatsoever what do you want cranky it looks like i'm quite poppy today yes sirees and juggle hygiene stick to treetops or earn extra lives That's right. Yay, a banana! Is the only banana we want the one in the foregrounds? Or the one that dropped? Or do we can take all the bananas? I'm sorry, but we're all out of bananas. Vulture culture. That rhymes, man. Ah, oh, dude. Dude, this is so cool, man. Seriously. Ah, that's not cool, you fucker. Get out of here. you off you see that there is such a, a depth rhythm to all of these stages it's ridiculous dude again i was reading some uh, interviews and they actually designed the game this way specifically they're like well we had a uh, we had one barrel here which went into that barrel there which in turn went to this vine here there's a rhythm to it what the fuck dude
damn it. Does he, does he have a... Really? I have never seen that before! I never knew that was a thing! Holy fuck! Whoa! There we go. Yeah! Stupid bird! Top down. Oh. Boop. Ah. Come on, buddy. Another one? No. Whoops. I am going a little too fast. We need to slow it down. I can't help it. This is not this is nothing like Endor. Nah. Nah, not at all. This ain't no. That was accidentally good timing. I realized that that was an auto barrel. Once I got into it. The simplest things are always the hardest things. What the fuck? Okay. We're doing this. Actually, let's just jump into it. Fuck it. Ha! Ooh. What? Dude, you're, you're kidding me, man. In, uh, the whatchamacallit. Clinton's a little too good. scared. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared. Ah! Too quick! Dude, what the fuck? Hey. 
Dude, this is... Damn! Yeah, I know. You can keep that fucking G. Damn! Oh, my hands are getting sweaty, man. Forest Frenzy. Oh, that's right. I remember this. I love that. High five! Yo, back at you, bro! Yo, give me some skin! Oh, yeah, high five! They can technically high five with their feet, too. Boom. Fucking bees and shit! What the fuck, man? These fucking bees! Mario, dude, chill. It's your your game was last week. No, I don't fucking get all these fucking bees. Wahoo! Bees and shit! Wee! Ah! There better be a Donkey Kong barrel here. Pressure! Mounting! Ooh. 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 Ah! Ong. Hey! Got it! Oh, that's right, all the vultures. This is so cute. Alright, they're all starting to go different speeds! Ay! Ooh. Yeah, I think I'm actually making it harder on myself trying to go Donkey Kong in these days because Diddy Kong is technically the faster one. Oh, this is where it chases us. I remember this. <laughs> it's like Indiana Jones here. Yeah, there's such an ebb and flow to this. It's crazy. Hey? Trap! What the fuck? We gotta wait a second. Hold on. Yeah, no, I'm fine. I am totally fine here. No pressure! No pressure whatsoever! There's nothing chasing us. No, we're good. We're fine. We have nothing to worry about. Shit. Ugh. Nope. Whoa, shit. Oh, now we're stuck.
easy. I think we gotta roll through those. Okay, so let's do this. Okay. Ah, damn it. My phone is going crazy. I need to turn this thing over. this one. Oh, that's it. It's off timing. Interesting. Oh my god! Jump into my deep save point, you big man! Stop it, man. This is a, this is a, this is a stream for fucking children. Okay? What the fuck is wrong with you? Do you not fucking see what the fuck we're doing for children here on this goddamn channel? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get you upset. Jump in me anytime. Okay, fine. Establish it. Let's go. Hey. Hey. God damn it. Oh my god, I can't take the timing anymore. Oh, the ostrich. It's so cool how we could like jump and glide with this guy. This is awesome. Ay, 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 fuck! It's so cool we can do this crazy shit with this stupid bird. Dead. Dead. Okay, that's tape. Oh, wow, I didn't realize. Okay. Oh, I see. We cannot. That's weird. We can't jump on them with the ostrich? That's bizarre. Okay. I never... I, I'm i surprised I didn't remember that. Fuck, dude. There we go. That's it. So when they're idle, they won't take damage. That's better. Eek. There's a slight delay. That's better. I'm fine with that. Maybe not. God damn it. He can't jump on enemies. That is so weird. Dude, 
what the fuck? The timing on this is so strange. Dude, Jesus. Seriously, what the fuck? He's, the barrel volume is ridiculous. Well, there he is. Uh, that's right, get the fuck out of here. Can you? Oh, there's one more stage. This is the underwater stage. What are you on, Cranky? We're at your fucking cabin. Sure, come on over. Beats talking to myself. You can find a fun and fluffy rampage between a rock and a hard place. I hear if you roll off a platform and press the jump button. You'll do a super jump! After a while, Crocodile! I'm never reading an extra like that again. Dude, this is fucking. Oh, clambo shit! Yeah. Mine's being battle toads. Verticality here. Yeah. Motherfucker! These stupid statues! They're designed to fuck with you! Because you follow a certain rhythm and then they throw something right in the middle like, nope! Nope, sorry! Can't go there. Nope, you're dead. Fuck you! Ooh. if we go this way? Hold on. Oh, it's just a banana? Dude, Jesus. Haha, -ha, see the shark? You see what that shark tried to do? They're so cute too, it's just you can't get mad at them. What the fuck? That shark just appeared out of nowhere, man! How was I supposed to react to that? I can't. Dude, this is, uh, this is crazy. Clambo. That is one of the, like, richest names in all of, like, gaming history. It's not, it's not Rambo, it's Clambo, because, you know, he's a clam, right? Get it? See what you're trying to do, it's not working. Um on. Hmm. I'm scared, man. No! Oh! 
there's a slight like slam as he closes the shell. That is so cool. Whoa, whoa. Oh, he still got it. Whoa, fuck! Yeah, watch how he closes. S slam. Clam City! Yeah, fucking A. Bumblebee Rumble! And then he goes up and down. Stupid bee! Get the fuck out of here with your stinger and shit! Dude, we're, uh, we're kicking some ass here, man. So do you like this here? Snow Barrel Blast! Motherfucker, this stage sucks. But the music is so good. Ah! Yeah, like... Just fought your cousin. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Hey. Not cool, bro. Not cool. I am not taking any chances here. I love how it gets the, the snow squall picks up. This is so cool. Timing for that one is super specific. Not happening.
Okay, we're pausing in here, and we're doing a safe fight, man. You know, I think we could actually, uh, we could shoot diagonally through these barrels here and go to the next one. Oh, that's right! There we go. That's actually a hidden secret. Nice. Yay! We don't have to go through that shit again. Oh, the cave seems just... The soundtrack in there. This is reminding me of Ice Cap Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog 3. And that's a fine fucking stage, too. With the original music, not that stupid Origins fucking shit. Damn it! Now thinking of Sonic Origins. Thanks! What? Hold on. No, that's bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. Wow, okay. It's really hard to commit, especially when you're not familiar with these stages. Yeah, this game does not fuck around, dude. Like, you need to be accurate for everything. Really? I didn't realize he comes back. Dude. Hey. Fuck. 
fuck, man. Jesus fucking Christ, man! This is crazy! <laughs> Fuck, because you automatically get sucked up. When you hit those ropes, because they're slippery. Yeah, dude, this game is a fucking discipline. Holy shit. Gotta beat it as Donkey Kong, don't care. Personal go God damn dude! Sorry I regret this choice. Come on, baby. <clears throat> Jesus fuck, dude, this is crazy! Dude, this is brutal. Holy fuck. God damn. Slide ride, yeah. Fuck you, slip slide ride. Ice Age Alley. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Shut up, bird. Is there anything over here? I forget. Oh. <laughs> Let's do it the old-fashioned way. The old collegiate try. What? Oh, that's right. Forget I keep forgetting that there's some very strange collision choices here. What? Dude, 
Dude, this is so weird. There's a couple of things I'm like, uh, a little bizarre. Try to avoid that. <clears throat> yeah, that's weird. All right. Dude, what the fuck? Exit through the igloo. Octopus chase? Ah! I love those enemies, they're so cute. Nope! I remember this part. I'm a little off there. You get the idea. Okay, hold on a sec. I think it's actually this way. No! I thought there was like a hidden segment or something. Apparently not! Da -da -da -da. You know what? I'm gonna risk it. What's over here? A 
light. That's it? Oh, thank God. Get the fuck out of here. Can't keep the fish with us. That'd be awesome. Yay! Yay! Like Kermit. Oh my god. What is the god say now? Sure beats a visit from Matt Scott. How can I help you? You found a phone and rope and rampage. You need a rocket? Oh, I'm stopping. Sorry. I don't understand. No one wants to talk to Crank. Come on. It's like, dude, just shut the fuck up. That's why. Huh, you saw it? Oh, the bird with the light! If you pause it just right, he actually flashes. Oh, this is so hard to do. Ah! So he, there's literally a flash. I can't do it. Do you get the idea? Hey. Yet, 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 damn, dude. Oh, my God. All right, got it. I love how they crawl. It's so cute. Oh. Some of the best sound effects in all of gaming are in this game. Seriously. So cool. Oh. How the hell did they record these sounds? I would love to know them. I can't get the pause. Ah, so fuck. Nope. That's hard to do, but he does turn and face for a split second, which is That was a little shorter and a little easier. Oh my god, come jump into my safe slot, Donkey Kong. It's always there for you. Must have been hard work for you to come all this way. Why not jump into my save hole? I can't help myself, I'm sorry. Oh, it's the same thing just now. This way. Dummy! Eek! Eek! Yeah, for the hardcore dude, the rhythm in this game is incredible. This is where, like, technically, it's on par with Super Mario World. It's just a little different.
Oh shit. Ah! Your turn, DK. That's all the cards. Damn, dude, we're flying through this. Holy fuck. Really naughty rampage. Not just naughty. It's really naughty. Ooh. Whoa! Are we... I think we're supposed to avoid that jump. Oh, that's right. Two jumps, three jumps. Gotcha. Okay. Couldn't get better starts above his head. They're the same palette as his body. Remlock Industries. Oh my god, I love this song. Fuck this track. Music surely makes a big difference in the atmosphere and setting of a stage. Like, with the way this music plays out, this makes me want to go really fast. This makes me want to go really fast, and it's, it compels me to go through the stage a lot as efficiently as possible. Fuck! Dude. Too bad those pipes in the foreground aren't transparent. or something? Or jump on them? Let's see what happens when we jump on them. No, we can't. Interesting. We have to ju fucking jump over all of them.
Yeah, fuck. Dude, oil drum alley. Fuck. Oh, God. I think we eventually start getting like gas or something like that. Soundtrack in this is still so impossibly good. Oh, this is super fucking Nintendo, man. Whoa. I don't know what the fuck just happened there, but I'll take it. nights actually they're so trolling us right here naughty naughty Yeah, if you don't have DK there, you're kind of fucked. Barrel guy. Fucking Arnold, dude. Ah! Shit. Nope. Wondering something. Else. Okay. Yo, dude, get off my shit. Fuck. I get Donkey Kong and everything! Oh my god, welcome to my save stage!
Oh my god. So let's see here. Okay. No! What? Yeah. Holy shit! That was awesome! I'm saving it! Oh! What? Come on, dude! That was bullshit. Dude, th this is designed to just fuck with you. I would say, like, if, if I could switch anything about this game, it would be stupid things, like transparencies or just a couple of color palettes. Because this game, to me, is as fuck close to perfection as you could get. And what the reason why it's difficult is just I'm not used to the rhythm, because there is a clear cut rhythm to all of this, and it's really fucking cool. Yep, totally a rhythm that I'm not used to. Uh, guys are buff and fat at the same time. Like, is that possible? land. Jump in my safe slot. Dun, dun, dun. Poison pond. Oh, yeah. Underwater. We love our underwater stages. Now this just has like a nice little foreground asset put in here. Over here. Ooh. Bananas? Yeah, this is up there with, like, the greatest underwater stages of all time. Like Ninja Turtles for NES, the music alone makes that worth the price of admission. Fuck! I remember this specifically because of these types. Those things are called, but they're fucking adorable. Hey! Fuck! Stop it! Yeah! Fuck, dude! Freaking me out of here!
Follow the bananas, DK. Follow the bananas. Because if not, you're fucked. Dude, I would love to see speedrunners with this, man. Like, this game has speedrunner written all over it, and it's a beautiful thing. Damn, dude. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Now he's our mule. Fuck it. No, I'm not talking about the Clint Eastwood movie, which is actually fucking pretty good. He's our mule. M-Y-O-O-E-L. Mule. Mule. Clearing the stage, motherfucker. God. Oh my god! We used to play Super Mario, but it got nothing left, so don't even ask. The crate truck, the bus corners, the truck of collectibles, okay? Yeah, I'm done. Alright, let's go, man. You heard it all, dude. Minecraft, oh my god, no! Dude, the soundtrack in this, though, this is some fucking awesome shit. Oh, that's right! We now jump from cart to cart as opposed to the cart jump. paradigm shift here like before we're going the same part just jumping now we're jumping from cart to cart that is so cool i said it was so cool why must you fuck with me man I would love to have the opportunity to uh, just sit with this and do this like a no death run. Oh, that'd be so cool. That's an accomplishment. Like knowing the entire game. Yeah, that's incredible. It's incredible. Yep. Yep, we're doing this. better land in that. Okay. Oh. 
I love how the bananas guide you, seriously. That is so fucking awesome. Holy crap! Oh, yes. I, like, instinctively knew there'd be an enemy there. What? But not there. What? This is sublime. God, this is so good. Ooh. Donkey Kong's like, whoop! I don't like that. That, whoa, crap! Oh, dog! Donkey Cock! Yo, Donkey Cock! Come here, dude, it's Kong. No, that's why I said Cock. No, you're not. You're not saying, you're saying Cock, but with a K. Thank you. 
Dude, how the fuck? How do you avoid this? That's it. Jesus fucking Christ, man. That is so cool. The, the rhythm this game has is fucking insane. Like, they put a lot of care into this. They said that was actually the hardest part of the whole depth process, was creating these stages to make sure that they flowed properly. Keeping this tire stationary is the biggest part. Motherfucker! There we go. See, it's all about that rhythm. I say that with anger at this point. God damn it. Damn it! Ah, dude, really? Oh, my fucking God, dude. doing this as long as it takes.
Jump! Jump high, jump high. Fuck you. Fuck you! Dude, this is fucking terrible. Oh my god. Okay, so we got the tire in a better spot. This is really rough. Holy shit, dude. Too soon. Okay, so hold on. How do we do this? No, we're not supposed to use a tire. That was brutal, dude. Holy shit. What the fuck? Are you serious? Okay. Damn, my god, that's terrible. My hands got sweaty. Fuck you. Get out of here. Take up trouble. Yeah, dude, this is, uh... This game, it's secretly a rhythm game. Secretly a rhythm game. Jesus Christ, dude! The difficulty! I'm scared. I'm really scared here. Can't chase him down. God damn, dude. Whatever, dude. Is it okay? Whatever. Whatever. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa! Man. Oh my god, dude. I 
guess like that. Dude, this is not easy. Like, holy shit. There's a science to this. Uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> like beefs and butthead. Jesus, dude, these stages are fucking crazy. Misty Mine! Whoa, buddy. Apparently my timing sucks. Snake just committed. Oh, my God, dude, really? We can hit them on the way up. That's right, they jump when we do. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
fuck, dude. This is brutal. I love it, but fuck! Stay away! Back! I'd say! Oh my god! Gotta jump up. Okay! We gotta get this guy. There. There we go. Hold up. Nah. Ah. Fucking clap traps. That was bullshit. That's right, we can just jump over. Mm. Fucking serious, dude. You know what? Fuck! Mule him! Fuck! No, you don't! Fuck you, man! Oh my god! Can jump into my save slot, Donkey Kong! Oh my god, you're such a rebel!
See, man, that's that rhythm, I'm telling you. This game is very nuanced, and a lot of people overlook that. Oh, Donkey Kong Country is overrated. No, it's fucking not. You just don't get it. See, that's, this is really good game design, because the first platform told you this already. You can only take that guy out with blue barrels. Or the blue guy out with those barrels. Oh, fuck! Hold on. Really? That was a short one. All right, what do you got to say here, Cranky? More freeloaders. Well, I'm going for you, so scram, grab the crap, the bus corners. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Neki's Revenge? Donkey Kong all the way, god damn it! Oh, okay, hold on. Dude, how do we, uh... That's it? Where's his body? Dude, we're at the boss already? Oh my god. Dude, this is so epic. Oh my god. What the fuck?
What? So clap trap, crush up, critter, bump, commander. King cruel. The end? Nima! Get his pattern, he jumps. Watch credits now. The animation frames in this man, the details are crazy. I love the way this looks. It's a stylized hybrid. It's just fucking timeless, man. Cast of characters, we gotta check this out, and then we're done. Naughty. Very naughty. Necky. Army. That <laughs> singer. Love it. Slipper. Aha, Slipper! Manky Kong. I fucking hate Manky Kong. Mini Necky. The aquatic bad guys. Bite side. Proctopus. Chomps Jr. Chomps. Pumbo! Squidge! I love Squidge. So they only like move and fall. That's a clump, bump, crash. Ah, I see what they did there. Clap trap, my favorite enemy in all of Donkey Kong Country. Rock, 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 Russia. The bosses. Very naughty. Master Necky. Really Necky. That's what they should have called him. Mean B, ha ha, god. Really naughty. Dumb drum. Master Necky Senior. King Cruel, King K Rule. The good guy. Ramby, ah, Ramby. Espresso, espresso. Unguard, that's right, unguard. He's so cool. And wink, wink, hey. Squawks. He's only in like one stage. The Kongs. Is it my turn yet? Funky. Like what's these snipes? Candy Kong. Surely it's me next. Cranky Kong. Diddy Kong. Donkey Kong. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I remember this. I remember seeing this as a kid. I was like, wow. The animation quality in this is excellent, man.
the fact that they animated that is awesome. I think it's using one life. This is an Easter egg that actually was removed. So every, I myself tried this. Uh, one life, less than an hour. It's impossible. And on top of that, you get nothing for it. There was supposed to be a feature in... Uh, there was supposed to be a feature that you would unlock something or earn something by doing this, and it was removed. And the developers of this game actually, like, officially stated that years later, which was pretty recently, too, on Twitter, I think. The entire team behind this game, dude, they did an incredible job, like... And it's a shame that with the same ideology and trying to apply that to Killer Instinct, it just didn't translate well. Killer Instinct, it gets tremendous credit for its effort, but it's not very good. Again, tremendous effort and mat and hats off to the team, but it didn't end up nearly as good as this. This is a very good example of technical know-how, technical prowess, and committing to that idea. Yeah, this game is is just fucking awesome. Timeless, fantastic. Just I, I I wish I still had like the manual just to be able to look back at this here. I like the picture of Candy Kong in the background. Ken Lop, he's a big name at Rare. One of the weapons in GoldenEye is named after him, the Club. I think that's like the automatic Uzi or something like that. Yeah, dude, this is uh this game is awesome. And it's so cool because it's a it's an Eastern character that has all this Western influence on it. And that's it! Spaceball one has now become bum bum. Mega me. Dude, whoa. So let's erase... There. Oh, okay. All right, that is it. I did not expect to go through all of Donkey Kong Country today. This was fun. All right, so to everybody who's going to end up watching this on YouTube and here on Twitch, thank you so much. I could use all the help I could get. I hope you appreciate these retro games as much as I do. Uh, and again, without all the red tape, Connectivity, it's just we can play. That is how we should be able to preserve retro gaming. I stand by that notion, and my my outlook on it is not changed. Preserve your games, preserve your right to enjoy something rather than relying on somebody else to enjoy. I'm out of here. See you tomorrow.